comes the man in third place, Dominic Filiu, the 402-pound Canadian. If he wants to challenge the top two, this is an event he's going to have to pick up big points. He's certainly got the physique for it. Well, the first three or four reps should be routine. Squat! There's Good one, squat. but now the barrels start to roll. Squat. Good squat. Good squat. Here comes rep number three, and that looked comfortable. He's certainly going to be good for four and five, you would think, on the evidence of three. Four is no problem. Could he go for all seven? The time is looking good. Just amazing as well, squatting without any shoes on. I can't imagine that would help him. Never seen it before in the squat discipline. 38-08 is what he needs. 37-7 is what he's got. Dominic Filiu takes the lead. And that was impressive. Well, what a beast of a guy he is. Look at the size of those quads. 40 inches round each one of those legs. I'll tell you what, that's a giant waist, never mind a leg. But look at the seventh rep. All determination, proper depth. Good squat. For that performance, that's going to take some uh, stopping. Here's the big man, Dominic Filiu, six foot five. That's his height. His width's not much Ready. shorter. <whistles> now, does that extra size give him an advantage? Now he's going for a different technique. He's taking one barrel at a time, and again, I tell you, those spectators better have their eyes wide open. They're enjoying it, but it's a very technical event as well. It's not just about throwing those kegs high up in the air, you've got to get them over that tin as well. You don't want them coming back down on the same side as well, so there's a lot more to it than just a swing and hope. He's actually clearing it so high. A bit like Dimmick. I mean, that's going way over. Well, you wonder how much energy he's expelled by attacking it so hard early on. Feely, you didn't practice this much coming into this. He has really gambled on the fact he's so tall. And there you go, another one, three or four foot over. Surprised he's taking one keg at a time. I I'm sure if he just grabbed one with each hand, he'd, he'd shave a few seconds off this. He's not going to beat the 103 of Dimmick, and I think that could have been on for him, but he's certainly taking his time to make sure of each barrel, but this, as you say, with a bit of practice, I think Phil you could tear this Apart. I mean, he's going to finish with around 116, 117. He could shave 15 seconds off that without any effort at all. Well, you know, one of the reasons he didn't do so many practice throws is really he's actually a very shy man, feel you. And with all the others like Pujanovsky shoving in, practicing away, it was very hard for him to get enough practice attempts. But, well, he certainly proved to be a great barrel thrower here. 117.